Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a Teddy Bee's ready to ship haul. So I did a haul for the pre-order and a couple of days after that, she did a ready to ship sale. So that is what this haul is. Here is her business card. In case anybody is curious, the Facebook group, definitely join the Facebook group if you are interested in receiving updates about restock lists, when is a restock, ready to ship, all that good stuff. So there you go. And let's get into it. I think I'll start with clamshells. So I really like her clamshells. These are the big six or eight cube clamshells. They're massive. I mean, if you have like a small warmer, you can cut these in half. I just throw one in a warmer in my 20 watt glade and it works out for me. So, but if you have like a bathroom warmer or something like that, Half a cube would be great, and her stuff cuts like butter. It's amazing. So this is Pistachio Dream Circus Cookies, a delicious blend of pistachio dream cake and frosted sugar cookies. Really, really cute. I love the green. Now, I don't do pistachio that is cherry. I don't do cherry whatsoever, and thankfully, people in the group were... Um, getting this in and saying that it was so creamy and dreamy and no cherry so i decided to take a chance and you guys this is so stinking good holy moly it is just the most delicious creamiest circus cookie ever i mean her circus cookies is the best that i have ever smelled there is no weird almond note there's no weird cherry note there's no cinnamon there's no Every one that I've tried just has a weirdness to it, but hers is just phenomenal. And then you add this pistachio dream cake. There is no cherry. It is so creamy and delicious. It just takes it to like this next level amazingness. And I love it. I would say maybe there's like a little bit of nuttiness to it, but nothing crazy. Oh man, it's just really, really good. Now I see why people like pistachio because I was never a pistachio person because it always smelled like cherry and I hated it, but this smells so good. Like, amazing. I love that. It's, it, oh, it's so good. A repeat buy is cheesecake cookies. This is sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. I got this one in the uh, pre-order and I picked up another one because it just smells so good her cheesecake is not sour it's not ugh, gross like some cheesecakes i also love that there's no glitter oh this one is just really good again creamy cheesecake it really really smells like the guts of a cheesecake i really don't get any graham cracker no 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 spice really it really just smells like that fluffy center of a cheesecake vanilla e yeah just good really really good sweet bakery not, not necessarily bakery more just vanilla -y, i should say so this one was a repeat buy because that one i really liked on cold then we have another repeat buy this is laid on the beach a blend of beach treats and marshmallow and magnolias i don't know if i got this in this pre-order or the last pre-order but i i or i don't know I got it sometime and I just love it. This one performs phenomenally. I have melted it and it's just awesome. This glitter is a little bit much for me, but it's pretty, no big deal. And this is so good. Yeah, her beach, uh, so um, in case you're not familiar, her beach treats is beach nights and her marshmallow and magnolias is her boardwalk marshmallow clouds. So it's, it's BMC and beach nights and it is so good and it matches my nails and it's just awesome. Her beach nights is really, really good. Mm, not too heavy on the salt CC air, not too heavy on like that graham cracker chocolatey-ish note. Just heaven. It's a really lovely blend. A phenomenal blend. I just, it's, it's good. It's good. Just trust me, it's good. Then we have a new one. This is Dream Weaver. Flannel sheets, soft lavender with a hint of vanilla and peppermint. I asked some really good friends who are lovers of Teddy Bees whether you got soft lavender in this because I hate lavender, especially, not especially, that's not true. Just I hate lavender and Teddy Bees puts a lot of lavender in her stuff. I think I've talked about it before. So I just always get that hint of lavender, always. And I, I just don't really like it. But all my good friends said 
that nope you don't get any lavender it's just a really great heavy flannel scent like flannel sheets and that's true it really is you get the flannel sheets and then a little bit of peppermint I really don't get any lavender or not on cold sniff because I don't love lavender as always and I usually can detect it it's it smells like a lot it smells of like a very different laundry this is super super different I've never had laundry mixed with peppermint but I love flannel sheets that is such a strong oil and then this mixed with that peppermint and the, the creamy a little bit of it all not uh, not really anything crazy and if I do get lavender I don't smell it it may add to the blend but I'm not getting any like herbal lavender I'm not getting sweet lavender I'm not getting any of that it's just a really interesting laundry, you know? Very, very strong. Definitely flannel forward, but obviously that is such a strong oil. I like it. I'm like really excited to try it. And I can't even tell if I would love this more in the winter, the fall. I mean, I'm out laundry all year round. That's not the problem. But like, you know, sometimes some laundries just scream a season. This just screams... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe all the time. I'm not sure, but I like it. And then another repeat blackberry frosted circus cookies, blackberry jam blended with frosted circus sugar cookies. I'm telling you guys, her circus cookies is out of this world good, except these clams. Oh, I literally can never open these clams. Yep. Her blackberry. Oh, it's been a while. Oh been a minute since I've smelled these. I'm hauling this a little bit later. Like these were poor. Oh, and she puts the poor dates on stuff now, which is phenomenal. Um, her blackberry is so good mixed with this. This is just getting better with time sitting here. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've smelled these and oh my God, her blackberry is just juicy and tart and delicious. It's not medicinal. It's not sour. Oh man, it's so good. It is so good mixed with that circus cookies. Man, oh man. Yep, I am really happy I got this. At first I was like, eh, do I need another one? I'm not sure. But now that it has sat longer, I'm ecstatic that I got another one of those. All right, on to these little, let's stack these clams. I'm on to these little pies that I've got. These are her, what did she call these? Souffle cups. So these are four ounces and they're originally supposed to be five bucks, but um, there was a mistake on the website and they were on sale for like, not on sale. She had them listed as $4. So I got all of these for four bucks, which was incredible. And then she was like, you know, lucky day to anybody who got it before I caught it. So that was cool. Uh, off the strip, this is a new set. I think it, uh, everything else is a new set, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, I don't know. Berry sorbet, light coconut, soothing sandalwood, warm musk. So it's endless weekend and cactus blossom types. And these little souffle cups are so cute. Again, she put the little pour date sticker on there, which I love. And these bags, these bags are thick. These are some hefty bags. These are not leaking any type of scent. So I already cut these. I cut these into four because I typically melt four, I don't melt four ounces of wax. I typically will melt around an ounce of wax, a half an ounce to an ounce. So I felt like cutting this in eighths was just too little. So I'm going to try it. And if it's too strong, then I can just cut it because these, her stuff, you guys, cuts without needing microwave. You do not need it. I got this out of the box and I cut it open and I just sliced it so it could be ready to go whenever I wanted it. I mean, it's amazing. I think if you microwaved her stuff, it would literally turn into soup. So don't do that. It just cuts beautifully and amazing. And I love it. So as for the scent, this is phenomenal. Amazing. I love Endless Weekend. And Cactus Blossom is a scent that I enjoy. I don't necessarily like hoard it or love it, but I enjoy it when I have it. And this is beautiful. I, I don't even know how to describe it because you just kind of have to know what Endless Weekend and Cactus Blossom smell like, but it is a perfect blend of both of them. I don't get heavy on the floral from like that Cactus Blossom. I don't get heavy on the coconut from the Endless Weekend. It is just stunning. It's beautiful. I feel like this one wasn't even that talked about, but it needs to be because this is really, really good. Oh man. 
it's beautiful. It's it's just it's it's beautiful. Beautiful scent. I I love that a lot. I just can't get over how thick these bags are. They feel so thick. Okay. Oh, nope, not a new scent, which is be crazy. I tried to get this in a clamshell, but it got cart jacked. That's okay. I also got cart jacked of her strawberry pound cake. Not her Bath and Body Works type, her house blend. And I got cart jacked to that, but that's okay. So, which is be crazy is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. This scent is freaking phenomenal. I have it in a clamshell, but I just, I needed more. That's why I wanted another clammy, but I, I settled for this because that's okay. This is so good. They came looking a mess, um, but I really don't care. It's, her just her stuff is really, really soft. I mean, you, you can't blame her for that. It's And the heat in the summer, so I don't mind. But anyway, this scent, oh, I don't even like pumpkin pecan waffles or pecan waffles, but I stinking love this scent. It is so good. It is sweet, bakery, decadent, rich, it's all of the above, plus just sprinkled with like fairy dust of love. It is so good. Oh my God. If you love bakery, you need to try, which is be crazy. Even if you do not like pecan waffles, because I don't. It's just, it's too sweet. It's too sticky. But no, this is beautiful with the birthday cake and the sugar cookie. It just makes it the most delicious, delectable bakery scent ever. I love this. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be melting so much, which is be crazy come the fall time that I, I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself out on it, but it just smells so good. And if she offers it again, I'm going to get it again because it just smells that good. <laughs> A new one, lace trim. This is pink sugar, clothespins, and vanilla lace. Another one that I asked some recommendations on because I am not a clothespins person is wait. So lace trim is another one that I asked for recommendations on because clothes pins is just not my jam. It is too sharp and it, it, it's just not my most favorite laundry. It's just way too sharp and it has like a sting of the nose. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't love it. But people said that this was really, really good. And because of the vanilla lace and the pink sugar, it was nice. So I don't love it. <laughs> it's very clothes pins heavy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just too sharp for me. Clothes pins is just not my favorite. I don't get a lot of pink sugar. I don't get a lot of vanilla lace. Just my particular nose, I smell clothes pins. Yeah, maybe a hint of pink sugar, but not enough to save it for me personally. If you love clothes pins, you'd probably love this. But yeah, I just, it, it mm -mm, mm -mm. clothes pins the, is just too much. It, mm -mm. I like my other laundry scents way better, like flannel sheets, tie, that kind of stuff. So that one's okay. I might give it a try, but I think that maybe this one I could definitely cut into eighths because clothes pins is just so, so, so strong, like so strong. Another new one that I took a chance on is Tata. This is Palo Santo and Marshmallows and Magnolias. And I am not a Palo kind of girl. It's too smoky. I'm not a smoked vanilla or a, you know, fire sidey type of person. It's just not my jam. Too smoky, too nasty. So Palo Santo is technically like a smoky blend, right? But people say that it's just blended beautifully. And this is not bad. This really isn't bad at all. It is it's woodsy. I would say it's more woodsy than smoky. And then the Marshmallow Magnolias, aka BMC, just rounds it out and makes it a little bit sweeter, a little bit like tamer. I think I wouldn't mind this. I would definitely do this in the winter. I, but I, you know, I think I would definitely give it a shot. Would I need more of it? I'm not sure, but this is good. It's, it's not, it's not as bad as I thought. It's not as smoky as I thought it would be either. So I'm interested to step out of my comfort zone and give that one a try. And I also could always just add more marshmallow and magnolias if I needed to. All right, the last thing that I got is a loaf of Frosted Cir Circus sugar cookies because this is just so stinking good. I think I also got car jacked of a clamshell of this. And then that combined with the other two that I got car jacked of in my budget, it gave me enough to get... Um, the loaf, and then the souffle. 
Actually, I was going to get that no matter what because I just wanted wishes to be crazy. But anyway, it gave me enough to get the, the loaf. So that's what I got. I got, it's um, sweet sugary, oh goodness, sweet sugar, buttery shortbread, buttercream frosting, vanilla, sugar, cookie dough. And it's just so good. I'm telling you guys, you got to try. Oh, I opened the bag and it just smells like heaven. Oh my gosh, so good. And like I said, it cut like butter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's so good. It's just, it's good. It's the best sugary cookie I've like ever smelled. Oh, I just want to melt this all the time. It's, it's just good. It's, it's, it's not the fake sugar. Like, you know, a lot of people can do a short, a sugar cookie or like a birthday cake or whatever. And it smells very fake and very, just not good. Mm -mm, this is amazing. Sweet vanilla -y bakery cookie. -y. Oh, it's just so damn good. So stinking good. I love it. Absolutely love it. Need trillions more of it. Not really, but maybe, but maybe. <laughs> and then because she's been having some problems with the bags, her, these loaf bags have been giving her problems. So she sent me another one to rebag it. She gave this in every order. She was very open about it on the Facebook page that she was going to send it. You could rebag it, double bag it, whatever you got to do. So, um, I thought that was really cool and very interesting that she sent that for free. And then we have samples. We've got Tata, which I already talked about, but we love a sample in this house. Yeah, just smells exactly the same. And I love that she puts these stickers on here for cause my, because for my storage, I set my sun shots in a drawer like this. So then I open it and I can see exactly what it is without even having to pick it up. Lovely. And then we have Trickin and Treatin. I'm pretty sure, oh gosh, let me reach back in my mind. This is like cake pops, marshmallow magnolias, beach nights, maybe. Let me smell. I think there's beach nights in here. I forget. Oh man, what is this? Let me see if I can pop it out. What the heck is this? Pink. Oh, oh I think it's I think it's purple sugar and beach nights. So pink and blue sugar, beach nights, and then like cake pops. I think that's what it is. I think that's what I'm getting. That could be completely wrong. But anyway, that's what I think it is. <laughs> I have it in a clamshell or a something. Or maybe I, I don't know. It's a nice scent. I enjoy it a lot. So that is everything for this Teddy Bee's Ready to Ship haul. I have been loving her stuff. It performs so well for me. Her scents are phenomenal. I mean, it just, this, her pre-order knocked it out of the park with this Frosted Sugar Cookies. Like, that blended with anything is just phenomenal. And then Witches Be Crazy is so good. The Off the Strip, this one right here with the Cactus Blossom, girl, what a surprise. Freaking love it. Absolutely love it. The Pistachio Cookies, oh, creamy, dreamy, delicious. It's just all so good. And even the ones that I took a chance on, like Tata, I like, and um, Dreamweaver, I like. Lace trim, not so much, but I figured that because clothespins, there's just no saving clothespins for my, for my nose, there is just no saving it. But anyway, let me know down below if you guys have tried Teddy Bees, if you love it. I would love, love, love to hear from you guys and to chat about this vendor because I'm obsessed. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.